Heron. So we have another SAT math problem. This one says which expression is equivalent to 4 over 4x minus 5 minus 1 over x plus 1. Uh, so we have a bunch of answer choices here. And the first thing we want to do to simplify this for equivalent uh, expressions is just get the same denominator, right? Um, that way it's easier to work with and we can actually do some arithmetic when it comes to it. Um, so we see here that in the first term we have 4x minus 5 at the denominator and then for the second term it is x plus 1. So we can do pretty easily is just to find a uh, common uh, multiple between these two terms and we can just do that by multiplying 4x minus 5 by x plus 1 and then vice versa multiply x plus 1 by 4x minus 5 and by doing that we also have to do the same thing to the numerator so we'll see how that works so we have 4 over oops 4 over 4x minus 5 and we will be multiplying this by x plus 1 over x plus 1 you can see how that in reality that we're just changing both the top and bottom of the fraction because x plus 1 over x plus 1 is really just 1. And so here we'll get 4x plus 4 over uh, 4x minus 5 times x plus 1. And so now we'll just want to do the same thing to the other side. So here we're going to have uh, this term right here, 1 over x plus 1. We're going to be multiplying this by 4x minus 5 over 4x minus 5. And so therefore we will get um, 4x minus 5 over, and then we get x plus 1. So that's just going to be the same thing, 4x minus 5, and then x plus 5. And so now we can also just look at this entire thing um, over each other, right? So we have 4x plus 4 minus 4x minus 5, but they have the same denominator. So in reality, this can just be rewritten as 4x plus 4 minus 4x minus 5 over all of this. So let's write it out again. Kind of tedious, but you got to do what you got to do. You'll see pretty interestingly is that some of the answer choices have this denominator. So we know we're on the right track here, right? So let's just evaluate the top part, right? So with 4x minus 4x, those two are going to cancel, right? So that's just going to be zero. Um, but now in our case, we have 4 minus negative 5. So we're really just adding 5 to 4. So that's going to be 9. So you have 9 on top, and then 4x minus 5. Really messy, but whatever. x plus 1. And so we have our equivalent expression right here. And we can see that actually matches up with answer choice D, and therefore that is our answer.